rape kit is really a, a fancy name for uh, collecting evidence. Um, after a victim's attacked, uh, typically they'll go to an emergency room and, uh, and the nurse or doctor will collect uh, hairs and fibers and, and saliva, anything that's, that's on her body or on her clothing. The kit's then sent to the labs to test for DNA to try and identify uh, who the rapist was. DNA has been the most incredible tool that's, uh, that police have gotten in, in decades. The FBI has built a database uh, that has DNA profiles from convicted criminals around the country. And right now, there's over 6 million convicted criminals DNA in there. We have a nationwide crime problem. We need to be able to talk to one another and share information across state lines. That's exactly what this allows us to do. DNA is the 21st century version of fingerprints. Um, and they're even better than fingerprints because they're more accurate and they don't degrade over time. When you're investigating a crime on the local level, you can seek results from that national database. And so you might put in the information from your crime scene, and if you're lucky, you'll get what they call a hit. After an attack, every week there's a better and better chance that the DNA from your rape kit will match somebody who's already in that database and they'll be able to figure out who did the crime. It can save enormous time, effort, agony, money. It's also really useful for finding missing persons. We have homicides on the books that are 30 years old that we haven't solved yet. We didn't even have some of this technology available. The National Center for Victims of Crime produced some very simple, easy to read brochures, what victims need to know, what victim service providers need to know, and what law enforcement should know about approaching a victim in a cold case. And those are available on uh, ncvc.org.